Good morning. Uh, we're going to make the last uh, video in the uh, series of the function summary of the polynomial function 3x cubed minus 2x squared. Uh, in this uh, video, we're going to be graphing with all the properties that we found of the function uh, in the preceding vid videos. We're also, once we have a graph, we're going to determine the range and if the function has absolute max or mins. So the first thing I do is I look at the first property and we determine it was a polynomial function, so the domain was all real numbers. Uh, the next thing we looked at was x and y intercepts, where the function is equal to zero and where the function is evaluated at zero. The y intercept was zero, zero. Um, I don't want to use, yeah, why not? These will be my x intercepts, this kind of a teal color. I hope it shows up. So I have zero, zero is on the graph. And then I'm going to exact, and, and then my x-intercept is, since my y-intercept was 0, 0, I have an x-intercept of 0, 0 as well. I also have an x-intercept of 2 thirds, 0. So I'm going to exaggerate that a bit. I'm going to put that about right here because we're going to have to put other points between it. So this is not to scale, but it's the basic shape. So that's uh, the other x-intercept that's 2 thirds. And then uh, <clears throat> now we look. Uh, where f was positive and where it was negative, and we looked at the original function and tested and saw that the intervals in which it was positive was from two thirds to positive infinity. So from this point on, it's positive, and uh, between negative infinity and zero, or from negative infinity to zero, it was negative, and from zero to two thirds, it was negative. If you remember, we have a kiss point right there. That's why we don't include that in our interval of negative zero. That's a zero point, and zero is neither positive or negative. Negative. So the next property we looked at was limits towards in behavior, or limits towards infinity. So the limit towards negative infinity was cubic function, so we knew that it was going and tended in a negative direction. And as we went to positive infinity, we knew that the graph was going into a positive direction. I'm just making all these little notes on here so that we can make a smooth graph. There was no symmetry. That was property five. Um, property six talked about uh, increasing and decreasing. Uh, we said that the function was increasing from negative infinity to zero. So I'll make that in green. It's increasing in this region. And then uh, it was also increasing from four ninths to positive infinity, and this is two thirds. I'm gonna see if I can scratch that in there with this little marker. That's two thirds, so four ninths is about A little bit shy of that. It and like again, again, I'm I'm probably just going to take the liberty of putting that right in between there. Uh, let me write that in some different color here. Uh, how about purple? Um, put that right there. We'll call that four nights. Um, <clears throat> right there, it changes uh, from positive infinity to increase again. And then, ooh, that didn't really turn out well, did it? So it's increasing from four ninths to positive infinity, and then from zero to four ninths. So in between here, it's decreasing. Um, and then we said that there was a relative max at zero, zero. And there should have been a relative min too. Uh, yeah, there was a relative min. I just didn't mark it on here. Um, I wrote none, but that's okay. I'll fix that right now. Um, there was a relative min at four nights. I don't know why my nines are looking like G's this morning. Um, negative two, negative 32 over 243. And we're going to definitely have to exaggerate those points. Uh, they won't be to scale. So anyway, um, we have a relative max at zero, zero. I already have that point graph there, so I'm not gonna, uh, I'm, I'll color it into red just to make it 
and then I'll make my relative min uh, four nights, so it's going to be associated with that purple point there on the x graph, negative 232 over 243. Hmm. It's like negative 0 0.132. Uh, so, anyway, we're just going to exaggerate that a little bit and uh, we'll call that point right there so that we can see it. So, because we're going to have to, in fact, I'm going to even exaggerate it a little more uh, if you'll indulge me. Make it about right there. So, that's our relative min. Um, let me like make. I'll write those in red, so hopefully it'll make that a little more apparent what those are. <clears throat> and then it's concave, uh, the concavity was property 8, and it's concave up from 2 nights to positive infinity. So 2 nights is um, about, I don't know, on this graph, it's probably about probably like right here. So we'll just, we're taking some great liberties with that. So we'll make this, uh, it is concave down, I mean concave up from two nights to positive infinity. So from this point on, it's concave up and it is concave down from negative infinity to two, two nights. So from over here and such, it's concave down, and then our inflection point is negative two nights. I mean, uh, two nights negative 16 over 43, which is going to be approximately right. It's going to have to be right here, and I'll mark that in green so that we can kind of see that. Um, and now we can connect all the dots and I'm trying to decide what color to do it in so that we can kind of see things. Um, I don't want to use green. Um, I don't know if this black will show up. Let's try, a, let's try this interesting blue here. So um, we know that the graph is coming up from negative infinity and it's increasing. And it's increasing to the point excuse me, uh, uh, to zero. So we know, and we also know that it's concave down uh, all the way to this point. So we know that at least we have something that looks like that on that side. It's kind of concave down. And then uh, what do we have happen at zero, zero? We had a relative max and we know that at zero, zero we began to, uh, we had an interval of decreasing from zero to four nights, so it was decreasing. And then we know also that it's, it's, it changes concavity right here at this green point, so it becomes concave up. And we know we have a relative min at this red point, and it's still concave up. In fact, it's concave up from now on, uh, from this point on right here. In fact, a lot of times we use a little slashes around to indicate that. And then we you know we had that relative min and then we have an x intercept and then we know as we go to infinity we just keep on increasing. So that's uh, more or less what that graph looks like and uh, now we can determine the range. Well, as can be seen, um, I mean this graph begins or you know it, it goes from negative infinity to positive infinity, so we can say that the range is negative infinity to positive infinity. And since the range is negative infinity to positive infinity, <clears throat> where we had relative maximums, they were relative to the region which we were looking at, at but there, as far as the graph as a whole, there are no relative max and mins, so that's none. So um, that's about it, and that's about how you do it.